What's up? It's your boy Steve-O, the rookie, Lake County Rideshare. Third time trying to make this video. People keep trying to call me. I hate that shit. I just put it on Do Not Disturb. All right. Let me make this quick because I'm getting aggravated now. Um, first of all, first and foremost, my new subscribers, I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah. Um, and I appreciate the patience that you're showing me uh, with uploading my videos. It's going to take a little bit of time to get the videos uploaded. Um, I don't want to be a news channel. Um, there are some videos I'm going to talk about that are news related, such as the raid that happened at the airport a while back. But that's going to kind of go hand in hand with my video tour of the Orlando airport. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to talk about that real quick. Um Thank you, and I want to give a shout out to those that have helped me so far. Uh, we got Dustin is driving. We got No Limitation Rideshare. Uh, we got NYC Driver Log. We got No Crybaby Rideshare, uh, and many others gave me a shout out on their channels. I appreciate that. I accidentally deleted my channel. I was trying to make a secondary channel, and yeah, that's what happened, guys. So I appreciate your um, the understanding and and just bearing with me as I do get videos uploaded. Um, as topics come up, as I try to think about my last videos that I had on my other channel, uh, but we'll get those handled. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about the importance of having a dash cam, guys. So my dash cam, I got it on Amazon for like sixty nine ninety nine. It's got a, you can't, let me see if I can turn it on real quick. I had it on in my last video and then some jackass called me. God, I hate that shit. I need to always remember. I didn't think anybody would call me on a Sunday morning, right? At like freaking 8 o'clock or whatever time it is. Um, oh, my other phone. So the way it works, guys, is if you could see, this part here is the outside cam, which is facing me, and this outside part, or inside part, right? And it's got a little micro SD card. It's got a wire that connects to it to keep it charged that I keep nice and tucked in, into my mount here. Uh, here in Florida, since it's so hot, we got to keep them turned off and keep them out of the sun. Um, that's why I can't wait to get back up to Brooklyn. I'm not moving back to Brooklyn to do ride shares. I want to make that abundantly clear. I'm just moving back because I want to go home. I'm tired of Florida. Uh, it's probably going to be about a year and a half to two years. Uh, but, and then lastly, I want to talk about my craziest Uber ride ever. Um, I am, I am Italian. Um, I don't speak any Spanish, a little bit of Italian, but it, it kind of goes hand in hand with Spanish. Um. But, yeah, um, I picked this couple up from Disney, and it was a nice 45-minute trip. They were going over to uh, East Orlando, and the whole time, you know, they were arguing in Spanish, this couple, and she wanted to go to a restaurant that was like seven miles off course. I have no problem, but you have to add it as a stop. Um, now, I'm not a prick driver. If there's a gas station like right there, I'm going to stop and I'm going to do it, right? I'm not going to be a prick. I'm going to give customer service, guys. See, a lot of people forget about the customer service part of this business, but that's another video coming. Um, so my best friend who does speak Spanish and also does ride share, I brought him on the Bluetooth four times. He told her step by step on how to do, how to, you know, what she needed to do to add the stop. He even Googled the address. She refused. We get to the red light. We're sitting there. I always keep my doors unlocked while we're driving unless we're in a bad area. Uh, we start to go, and I hear that door open, and she tries to jump out of the car while it's moving. And that's a hell no. So I pull over into the into this, it was like a CVS or something like that, or a Rite Aid, I can't remember which one. And I told them both, y'all gotta go. I don't accept that type of behavior. And, you know, then I called Uber support, and they're like, you know, you did the right thing, yada, yada, yada. And, and that's that's the truth, guys. When you have riders like that, you have to be able to, you know, make judgment calls uh, on when and when not to kick passengers out. But that was a perfect example to kick a passenger out. Um, when that trip happened, I was still fairly new in rideshare. Um, I didn't have a dash cam yet. So unfortunately, I don't have the footage of that. Otherwise, I would have posted it. We are a two party consent state. So you do have to kind of be careful. Um, but yeah. I think that's all I got. Um, I appreciate it again for my new subscribers. And I just ask that you just bear with me as I do work on uploading new videos. I'm going to try to a upload like maybe a video a day just till I get caught back up to where I was. Um, the other thing is like my other channel. Yeah, it had like 70 something subscribers. 
But at the same time, there was a lot of videos from back when I first started that really just kind of didn't make any sense, right? They were just stupid videos. Um, I do want to do a video tour car, uh, a car video tour. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm not quite awake. Um, I do want to do that, um, and that will come in due time. So, all right, that's all I got, guys. Uh, again, I appreciate it. As always, check the description below for more helpful, useful information. Keep doing what you do. Keep making that money. Be safe, be smart, don't be stupid. Make sure you get your advice from real rideshare drivers, not these fakes. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, drop a comment below. Shoot me an email. It's in the description below. Um, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Till next time, keep Uber and Lifting and gigging on. Later.